Cinema 4D is one of the easiest applications out there which is well known for its motion graphics capabilities. So let's tour around its interface. So in order to navigate around over here in this pane, this uh, viewport, let me create an object where, which I can access from this menu right here. I can click and hold and over here you can see that there's a cube. So now this is the perspective view. I'm using my scroll mouse button to zoom in and out. If I want to see all the four views, since this is a 3D application, I can click, click my middle mouse button just like this. And I can see the side view, uh, front view and the top view just like that. Let me go over here and click the middle mouse button. It goes back in just like that. So over here, I have the selection tool, uh, which I can use to select. And I can move this around as you can see. And as I move around, you can see that the position um, access changes just like that. There's all the, also the size details. So if I were to go to move right here, move tool, move around, you can see that the uh, position changes right there. I can also use the scale tool and increase this in size and you can see that the size has been increased. That's the rotation tool and if you were to rotate it, you can see that the rotation tool changes right over here. If you were to hover over into uh, the option over here on the bottom left, you can see that uh, the shortcut key is displayed and more details about it is displayed. There are other options such as the access options right here. There's the rendering options right here. There's the primitive shapes of course which we used and deformers and subdivision options right here which, are, which will be used later in the lesson. There's the deformers right here which can be used for animation. There's the staging option here to create floor, skies and so forth. Over here is the camera and over here is the lighting. On the right side that's the list of objects uh, which can be ch chosen. So let's say, for example, if you create another object right here, like a cone, you can see that it is listed on the right. And there are other tabs where you can access more options just like that. Over here on the bottom, you can access the uh, attributes of the object. You can access the layers, so you can work with the layers as well. And the tabs are available for different options. Here's the timeline. And if you're familiar with video editing, or uh, um, let's say animation in 2D, such as Adobe Premiere Pro or After Effects, it works quite in a similar way. So over here on the bottom, this is the material panel. And if I were to double click, a new material is created as you can see, which can be used to give different looks uh, to our models right here. On the left side is what I can use to model out. So if I want to change the shape and size, I can use these tools right here, which we are going to talk about in the future lessons as well. So that is how the interface is in uh, Cinema 4D. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.